Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. We've finally reached the mucopolysaccharidoses, a group of disorders that involve deficiencies in the breakdown of glycosaminoglycans, or GAGs. Come join me at the Haunted Hotel as we learn about Hurler and Hunter Syndrome. Hey, what was that? Did you smell something? Yeah, I'm sure it was probably nothing. Just my vivid imagination. Whew, keep it together, Ricky. I ain't afraid of no uh, spectral figures. Okay, before we talk about these two diseases, a quick review on glycosaminoglycans, aka GAGs. GAGs are negatively charged complex carbohydrates that contain a repeating disaccharide unit. The main types of GAGs are heparan sulfate, dermatan sulfate, chondroitin sulfate, keratin sulfate, and hyaluronic acid. They're found everywhere in the body and bind to proteins forming proteoglycans, a major component of the extracellular matrix in connective tissues. All right, enough with the nerd talk. Now we can go over the actual syndromes. And just a heads up, there are many types of mucopolysaccharide diseases, but we'll just be covering the two high-yield ones, Hurler and Hunter syndrome. We'll begin with Hurler syndrome, the most common mucopolysaccharidosis. This hotel guest hiding behind her door will remind you that Hurler syndrome is autosomal recessive. And it looks like someone had time to leave a warning message in all that slime. Do run, because Hurler syndrome is caused by a deficiency of alpha l runadase. Hey, he slimed me. That enzyme deficiency results in a buildup of those gags, specifically heparan sulfate and dermatan sulfate. Ew. I don't know what's worse, getting hurled by slime or rotten eggs. Actually, rotten eggs don't really sound that bad now that I think about it. 